in this beautiful fall day in September, we're uh, starting to think about making bread and having the oven on. And uh, today we're going to make uh, cinnamon raisin bread. And I have the recipe here. Uh, it takes uh, two and a half cups of whole wheat flour and two and a half cups of unbleached white flour. And this will make four bread rounds. And then just with your fingers, mix the two types of flour together just slightly. And in the center, just make a nice hollow spot. And this is where you put all the ingredients. Now the next thing to do is get your yeast water ready. And that takes one cup of cold water and one cup of warm water. Then I've preheated some water in here. And then you test the water. Some people use a thermometer, I don't. Uh, get it to about 100 degrees. It's a little bit too warm. If it's too warm, it'll kill the yeast. And then I just use a regular yeast. And I don't really measure it out. Just a couple tablespoons full. Stir that. Yes. You can smell it. It smells like yeasty water. Really nice smell to it. And uh, for the ingredients, we have to go down to uh, one fourth of a cup of uh, safflower oil. I like that the best. One half cup of honey. And I like to use uh, locally raised. This is from Myland. Cruise honey. Whenever I can get things local, I use it. And organic if I can get it. Okay, and then we go to my list here. One eighth of a cup of uh, molasses. I like the flavor of the old fashioned flavor of molasses and things. Uh, okay, we've got the yeast in there. And uh, now I just put a dash of salt in. I don't measure it. Just like the yeast, I don't really measure it. Just yeah, sprinkle a little in. Salt. Okay, we have the safflower oil, the honey, molasses, the yeast is in there, the salt is in there, one egg. That's next. Just the whole egg. Like that. Just dump that in there also. Okay, that's all the ingredients now except for putting the water in. And at this point, I move into my other table where I knead the bread. Set that here. Uh, this table's been all cleaned ahead of time. I have a couple of cups of uh, the unbleached flour. I like that better than the heavier flour for uh, kneading the bread on. Now I'm going to go, I'll just go get the water up in that bag. Okay, and you just pour that in into that pocket that you made there. Okay, you wash your hands up real good, then you just go ahead and just start kneading it in. Usually, you'll have to add quite a bit of flour to this recipe, so it's good to have a couple cups extra around. Yes, I see it's going to be way too wet. It has to be to the point where I can actually pick it up and handle it, so. I'm going to dump all of this in, plus I'm going to probably have to get some more. Okay. 
I start when it starts getting a little bit heavier so it's not just liquid I start punching it with my fist you also don't want to get it too dry so basically what you want to do is keep the sponge which is what they call this bread dough that I'm making up now this would be called a sponge you want it as moist as you can but still be able to handle it I'm getting close now so I'm not going to dump any more in here I'll be able to pick this up now pretty soon and then work it on the table okay Now a floured board, tabletop if you have one, it would work. Slowly add the dry clay, or yeah, dry clay. I'm a potter, so yes, dry uh, flour. That feels about right. I don't want to get it any drier. So now we have to do a little bit of washing up. Now I have a, uh, you know, a quarter stick of butter around when you're doing this. Be generous with the butter. You don't want things sticking. And also you want the butter on your hands right now for when I have to handle that uh, the sponge, the bread. And I just pick it up like that. Take it over here. And uh, this is a furnace. You want to have it rise in a nice warm location. Just push it in there, push it on down, and then uh, in two hours of rising time, uh, it will be domed right up to the top about. And so it doesn't dry out on top. Always put a nice uh, towel over it. Okay, that's it for now. In two hours, we'll be back to roll out the uh, bread rounds. Back. We're going to go to step two now of baking the uh, cinnamon raisin bread in these bread rounds. And butter them up liberally. You need four of them for this recipe. Got these others buttered nicely. And over here is the dough, and you can see how well it's risen. You take this up to the table, and then you just punch it down. And as you can probably tell, it's uh, just barely able to handle it without it sticking to me. And if you need to, you can put just a little bit of flour on the outside, but you don't want too much. Then you take that bread knife and you cut this in four pieces. Try and get them fairly close to the same size. I've uh, formulated this recipe for these bread rounds be just correct for four bread rounds so you can get them you know reasonably close to the same size is nice we'll set those three aside and we'll start elongating this one with just a little bit of flour and then get the rolling pin Hit it, yeah, you know, about uh, 12 to 14 inches long, 4 inches wide. And at this point, sprinkle a couple tablespoons of sugar on for the sweetness of the cinnamon raisin bread. 
and I use uh, cane sugar, it's a little bit better for you. And then uh, ground cinnamon. I like cinnamon, so you be a little bit more liberal with things that that you like the best. And then in the recipe, I say like 50 to 75 raisins. But Lucy really likes raisins, so we put a little bit more than that on each loaf, that is. Spread them out. And spread them out nicely, yes. Pad them in just a little. It's a little easier for them to stay in place then. Like those, one. that clump needs to be a little bit separated because they cook better if they're separated. Then we'll start with this round. Now I'll just roll it up towards you. Stick it in there this way with the uh, Just pat it down like that, set that one aside. And then after that's done, we get all four of these. We'll put them in a warm place again and let them rise for 45 more minutes. And then we'll be putting them in the oven. And remember to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. So if you haven't got it on yet, you should put that on now. So it's all preheated when you put them in there. And then they'll come out in 45 minutes. Uh, no, then they'll be in there for 35 more minutes after that. And then they'll be out and ready to set someplace to cool a little bit before you eat them. We're uh, ready for the next step. This is risen now, as you can see, for 45 minutes. Now I'll put them in the oven for 35 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, and I'll set my timer for 35 minutes. That's it for now on the cinnamon raisin bread. We're following the smell. We're headed for the studio. We're gonna let them cool for a while before we eat them. How long? Well, it should be 15, 20 minutes, but probably won't be. <laughs> it's, there's a good reason because it slices much better. It smells so good. <laughs> Here's Ben to open the door, that's good. Okay. Yeah, there, just put them on a sideboard and leave them in the bread rounds for 15, 20 minutes before you put them on a cutting board and cut them up, put some with lots of butter, hot coffee. Okay, after uh, baking the bread, letting it cool for 15, 20 minutes, it's much easier to, to uh, cut them. We take it out of the bread round, the bread rounds are over there. And then I just slice it this way. Okay, Ben. Ooh, good raisin distribution. Yes. And it's, uh, it rolls very well, so it's not going to be heavy and or doughy. You can also slice it again this way if you want. It won't quite fit on my plate otherwise. Would you cut one more piece just in case I can add the one with the most raisins? This looks like quite a few here. Good, yeah. Doesn't need to be too thick. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Usually Lucy got the right the one there. Okay. Okay. And then you slather it with lots of butter. Well, slathering, you know, that's a personal choice, really. Mm -hmm. And have good, strong coffee. <laughs> and. Model Perfect Jean Skull. Cinnamon Raisin Skull. Bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Skull. We should make up a new word for coffee toasting. <laughs>